Hey guys, what's going on? So we're coming at you with another video. In today's video, we have a post commentary coming at you against my friend Peyton. You guys have seen gameplay before. He's pretty good, I'm pretty good, so this should be a good matchup. You guys will see. We He has uh, Lindor leading off. We have the flashback. Max Scherzer here in the top of the first inning. We're trying to throw a high fastball up and in. Goes a little bit too up and in for our liking, so it's a 1-0 count. Next, we try and throw this uh, slider. Hope to get him to swing at it. Down and in. But it's a little bit too far inside. Almost hits him in the foot, so it's quickly a 2-0 count. Next, we throw a change up here and uh, with Scherzer, and he hits a ground ball to second base. We have Francisco Lindor at second base. Makes the nice play for the first out of the inning. Next man up, he's got Coco Crisp here in the top of the first. It's a 1-1 count with one out. Throwing this pitch right here, and he ends up hitting it to David Ortiz gonna make a nice play over there at first to get the second out of the inning next man up is created player and with a two and one count we throw a slider hoping to get it in but it goes right on the corner opposite of where we were trying to throw it and he hits a nice ball into the gap in left center field Brantley goes over and hugs the wall because he loves that wall and then throws it to Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> Alex Rodriguez is looking at the printing on the baseball, and by that time, he's safe at home with the inside the park home run. <laughs> Next man up, Prince Fielder with two outs, 0-2 count. We're throwing a slider down and in, and we get the strikeout. So we give up the inside the park home run, thanks to Michael Brantley loving to hug walls and Alex Rodriguez looking at printing on a baseball. Next man up, Francisco Lindor for us in the bottom of the first, and he hits one to Lindor, who makes a nice play for the first out. And then we have uh, Alex Rodriguez with one out, a one and two count. He tries throwing a curveball, and we end up getting a base hit. He has Jose Quintana, if I'm not mistaken, on the mound in this game. And we have the rookie flashback, Max Scherzer. Next man up, we uh, get him to balk us to second base. So... Now we have a 1-1 count, and he balks us to third base. So we have a runner on third, and now David Ortiz comes up because we got out on a strikeout. And the first pitch, he balks us home. So it's tied at one in the most weird of ways. Now, he tries to throw a two-seamer up and in, but he goes a little bit too up and in for me to swing. So it's a 1-0 count quickly. Next pitch looking low like we always do and David Ortiz swinging with authority like he always does and it's now a lead for us two to one now we have Ryan Braun up and on an 0-2 count with two outs he uh, hits it up the middle hits it with a nice swing of the bat nice authority on it so we got a runner on first with two outs and we have Michael Brantley up and waiting and he balks us to second base so another balk in the inning that's the third balk for him already or fourth actually I think I'm not quite sure might have been fourth anyways waiting on the first pitch and we end up hitting it to Chris Bryant I thought we were gonna get a base hit on that at first but Chris Bryant makes a nice play there so we're up two to one after a good inning now we're facing Chris Bryant with one out in the second inning one two slider and he strikes out on it now 0-1 to Melky Cabrera two outs 22 pitches for us and he hits one in the right center field gap I was hoping that wouldn't be gone because the contact is really good but he ends up hitting it off the scoreboard out there in right center and we keep him to a double next man up he's got Francisco Lindor and we start him off with a change up this is in the top of the third with one out and he ends up swinging through that one for a strike. So the 0-1 count, we go with the high fastball, hoping to get it in there for a good pitch, and it ends up going right down the middle, and he hits a base hit right past Mr. Alex Rodriguez at shortstop, trying to make that diving play, couldn't quite do it. Now Lindor up in the bottom of the third. He couldn't score Lindor in the top half. We get another base hit, this one with Lindor. That 80 speed is a good thing to have on first base, leading off an inning. And now he has, or we have Alex Rodriguez. He still has Jose Quintana on the mound, and he balks us to second base. So now we're in a good spot as we have a runner on second. And with one out here with Nolan Arenado up 
at the plate, and Arenado shoots a base hit. We're going home with Lindor. That's an easy run as we scored it. Sorry, I cut that out. And now, fourth inning. Hits it up the middle with Chris Bryant. He gets a base hit. But he didn't score that, so now we're in the bottom of the fourth. I got a lefty. I think it's Brantley, and he ends up breaking his bat. And he can't make the play with his pitcher, and we end up being safe at first. So runner on first for Wilson Ramos. And he goes into his pause menu. Brings in the right-handed pitcher, Luke Gregerson, to face Wilson Ramos. And he ends up balking us to second base, so we got a runner on second. Nobody out. 0-1 pitch to Wilson Ramos. And he makes sure that he pauses so he doesn't balk again, and we hit it right in front of the plate. His created player misses it, but still throws out the slow running Wilson Ramos. So now we got a runner on third, one out. And he ends up intentionally walking Christian Yelich to get to the next batter, who is Max Scherzer, our pitcher. But we go ahead and keep Scherzer in, and he ends up balking a run home and balking us to second base. Now a 4-1 to one game in the fourth inning. But we didn't score after that, so now top of the sixth, he's got Coco Crisp. And he hits one high and deep, and now we're only up by two as he hits a home run with Coco Crisp. Now in the eighth inning, Kyle Seeger up, Kyle Seeger out. As I was throwing that pitch, I said hoping he'd pop one up. He ends up popping one out. Next, Prince Fielder. There goes everything as he scores there. So now it's a tie game, top nine, and he hits a ball into the gap. Our center fielder going after it, but he's going to end up with a triple as A-Rod couldn't quite throw that with a cannon. And next man up is created player in the 10th inning. Hits a home run, and we're down 6-4 to four. in extra innings. Not what we wanted. Now two outs in the bottom of the 10th. Arenado up. Could tie it. Hits it to third base. Chris Bryant making the nice play, and the ball game is over. So we ended up losing this game 6-4. to four. It was a great game. Extra innings. Really a thriller and one of these classics that I wanted to show you guys. His creative player ended up being the player of the game with that go-ahead two-run bomb in the top of the 10th. That put him up 6-4. to four. So it was a good game, but didn't get the result that we wanted. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you guys liked this video. But anyways, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Foa Moa. I will see you guys later.